Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here today. I want to share with us about Scripture memory. Scripture memory is so important. The Bible says in the New Testament, let the Word of Christ dwell in us richly unto all wisdom. And in the Old Testament, you know, this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth. Thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Psalm chapter 1. Uh, Blessed is a man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. So scripture memory is fantastic. When you receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you have the author of the Bible living on the inside of you. Spend a few minutes meditating on the Word of God all throughout the day. And then be like a cow chewing its cud, which is the Hebraic imagery, and think about it all throughout the day. It will prosper you. What better things to think about? The Bible commands us not to worry. It says, be careful for nothing, but in everything. You know, we're not supposed to worry. Uh, make a request made known to God in everything. And so... Think on these things. Whatsoever things are true. Well, the Word of God is true. Whatsoever things are honest, just, pure, lovely, the good report, any virtue, any praise. Think on these things. When you think on the Word of God, you have promises in the Bible that your life is going to be blessed. Now, you might say, Pastor Walter, what's the easiest way to memorize Scripture? Now, one thing I do and have done is I get Bible promise books. And I just memorize some of the high points of Scripture. You know, Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. You know, Philippians 4.19. My God shall supply all your uh, needs through His riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And others, all things work together for the good to those who love the Lord, who are the called according to His purpose. Romans 8.28. And uh, that type thing. He was wounded for our transgression. You just go through this whole paradigm. And there's hundreds upon hundreds. You're shot. You know, Psalm 23, the Beatitudes um, of Scriptures, John 3.16, John 3.5, Acts 2.30, that are, you know, very famous Scriptures, so to speak. Revelation 1.8, that you can... Memorize Colossians 3.16, a lot of good 3.16s in the Bible. And uh, then you may want to begin to memorize books. If I'm just memorizing one verse, though, I'll just read that verse. I'll read it again. I'll read it again. Think about it for a little while. Read it again. Read it again. Meditate on it. Try to get what it's trying to say. Think on it. Read it again. And, you know, repetition is the mother of learning. It's like that you've got grooves running in the neurons of your brain when you do that. Before you know it, you'll have memorized it. Now, this is the thing. I'm 50. You get old like me. Sometimes you might not be able to quote it like the next day and all that kind of stuff. But it's inside of you. You've taken the time to plant the seed of the Word of God on the inside of you, and it is there. And it will bring forth fruit unto perfection. It's amazing how God, you might not can remember everything about every arrow in your quiver, but it's there when you need it. And God will bring all things to your remembrance when you need it. So memorize it. God will bless you. Again, there is a built-in blessing for Scripture memory. Joshua 1, 7, 8, and 9. God's going to bless you for memorizing His Word. And also, they're outlawing the Word of God in many places. And many people memorize. I know Chinese Christians that are memorizing the Word of God. So they said, when they take our Bibles, we've got it in our heart. Memorize Scripture. Love it. Live for it. Be willing to die for it. Remember, that's what Josephus said about the Jews. He said they'd be willing to die before they change one part of a letter of the Scripture. So just live for the Word of God. Memorize it. It'll bless you. In Jesus' name.